Guys, this episode of Blue Therapy was crazy. It was mad. If you do not like Chioma's cooking, you better get yourself in the kitchen and cook for yourself, okay? You're a whole grown man. Like, he's so obsessed with what he does that Chioma is his last party. Like, he just doesn't care. This allowing talk that was going on in this session, I am allowing you to go to Afro Nation. I am allowing you to train your ex. First of all, are you his mum? Are you his mum? Jamal, we was rooting for you. We was rooting for you. <sighs> Jamal, why are you lying? Why are you lying? Jamal, it ain't looking too good right now. Oh, I was gonna surprise you. Boy, why is you lying? What? So, I was the second option then? Oh, hell no! We love Benny McCauley. Oh, hello, cutie. Hey, y'all. Uh, what's good? It's your girl, Fats, and I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. I hope you guys are having a blessed week. I hope you guys are staying safe because you ain't safe out here in these streets. It really isn't. Before we start with this video, please make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that notification button so you can be notified every time I post a video and y'all do not want to miss my videos. You really don't. Guys, I'm back again with another Blue Therapy commentary episode four. Guys, this episode of Blue Therapy was crazy. It was mad. We have a whole lot to talk about. Deborah and Jamil with all this allowing talk, um, their confessions, Paul talking about Chioma's weight gain. Oh, it was just, it's crazy. So, you know, Chioma talks about how Paul expects her to cook every single day and he expects her to cook fresh meals every day. Um, you know, Paul expects her to prepare um, fresh meals for his meal preps and Chioma ain't here for it because Chioma does not like the meal preps that he prepares and you know, Paul doesn't like the fact that Chioma is always cooking these African dish. Now, Chioma loves her African dish. She wants to, she wants to pass it on to her future kids. She wants to cook these African dish not every single day, but she wants to cook them quite often. She wants to cook them at least, you know, once a week. She wants to enjoy these African dishes with Paul once a week. But Paul ain't here for it. Now, don't get me wrong. I totally understand where Paul's coming from. I was here with Paul when he said that, you know, these African foods, they're heavy, they're fatty, they're oily. They're not, they're unhealthy. You can't be having these, like, let's just be realistic. You can't be having these traditional African foods every often because they're very oily. They're fatty they're heavy i totally understand where he's coming from but at the same time if you do not like chioma's cooking you better get yourself in the kitchen and cook for yourself okay you're a whole grown man you know you was cooking for yourself before chioma moved in so what happened you got comfortable i'm not really surprised with paul's actions because at the end of the day it's very very common a lot of african men feel like you know, it's the woman's duty to do the cooking. It's the woman's duty to do the household duties. And probably that's where Paul was at. Paul probably got very comfortable and he thought, you know what, since you have moved in with me, we live together, you should do the cooking whilst I'm out here getting the money. These fresh meals that you want to cook, go in the kitchen and cook for yourself. Like, he be acting like Chioma ain't got nothing to do, like she ain't got a job, like she ain't got a business to run. Like, are you for real? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. when it came to this whole african traditional dish talk paul definitely gave me bougie vibes he's very bougie he's very westernized you know a lot of people eat the traditional african dish with their hands but you know paul ain't here for all of that okay he ain't here for all of that he's very bougie he's very westernized oh we're in london you know so we shouldn't be doing all of this ah oh, and he goes on and on and on and on about these damn clients like, at this point, Chioma is his last party. Like, he's so obsessed with what he does that Chioma is his last party. Like, he just doesn't care. He just does not care at this point because he's neglecting her in every aspect, okay? He's, he's just neglecting her in all aspects at this point. And Chioma's unhappy. Her needs are not being met, you know? 
and she doesn't feel loved you know what i'm trying to say to the point that this man was talking about her weight gain first of all i need to say this chioma's body chioma's body is fire i don't know what kind of girls that paul has gotten with in the past but this girl right here paul what are you doing because chioma's body is fire okay she, her body is fire and she knows she knows she knows it's fire but anyways y'all let's just get into deborah and jamal first of all deborah and jamal deborah and jamal are a hot mess they need to break up they need to break up because all of these things that are happening you know this allowing talk that was going on in this session I am allowing you to go to Afro Nation. I am allowing you to train your ex. First of all, are you his mom? Are you his mom? And are you her dad? That's what I need to know. Because this moment right here gave me controlling vibe. Jamal, we was rooting for you. We was rooting for you and you've let us down. You deceived us. You deceived us. I'm sorry. I don't know about you guys, but I was with Deborah in certain parts. I was like, oh, okay. Now I understand why Deborah, Deborah acts the way she does at times. Because, yeah, Jamal is very sneaky. He knows exactly what he's doing. <sighs> Jamal, why are you lying? Why are you lying? He's acting very, very shady. He's very sneaky. I ain't feeling him like that anymore. Boy, what is you lying? We know that you got caught, okay? And Deborah ain't stupid. Here's my thing. Don't say you are at a certain place. Meanwhile, you are a whole different location. Like, you're talking about how, you know, you was with a client, but these times you was chilling with your boys. Like, little lies like that, that's very problematic. On top of that, you've got a problem with her going to Afronation, but these times you booked a ticket without letting her know that you're going to Afronation with your boys. First of all, if you're gonna lie, please lie properly. Jamal, he ain't looking too good right now. It's just a whole lot of problems. It's a whole lot of issues going on in this relationship. It's just a whole lot of trust issues going on here. You know, Deborah continues to talk about how she doesn't like the fact that he's surrounded with a whole lot of females. He is a personal trainer. He's going to be around a whole lot of females. You know exactly what kind of man you got with. So why are you complaining? What, you want him to quit his job? You want him to quit his job? Because just know, once he quits his job, you ain't getting no Gucci, Prada, Louis Vuitton or anything like that. Deborah and Jamal are draining me right now, you know... He doesn't trust her to go to Afro Nation with her girls. He's out here lying about where he is and his location. It's just a mess. <laughs> Deborah exposes Jamal, the fact that he booked this ticket, this Afro Nation ticket behind her back, not letting her know. And then saying to her that he, oh, he's not going to go. But then he out here talking about, oh, I was going to surprise you. Boy, why is you lying? Um, we were definitely rooting for you. And now we ain't here for you. You are definitely showing your true colours, Jamal. And I ain't here for it. You know, Jamil confessing that he's to fancy Deborah's sister like it's nothing. And saying it with his chest. It wouldn't be me. It wouldn't be me. I would have not just sat there and continued with that session. You know, you just dropping the fact that you used to fancy my sister just randomly. And then you just sitting there continuing with the session i would have just walked out i would have walked out of the session what so i was the second option then oh hell no and then you know deborah deborah decided to be petty and was like listen i signed up for an only fans and his face dropped i know a lot of people have got questions about blue therapy is it fake is it real is it scripted Listen, I don't know if it's real or if it's fake, but what I do know is this therapist that they've got, Denise Waterman, um, yeah, um, I did a little bit of research. The jobs that was listed that she does was she is a presenter, she is an actress, and she is a model, she's an influencer, and she does voiceovers. You know, the jobs that was listed therapist wasn't one of them so you tell me is it real or is it fake now whether it's real or it's fake who cares 
The people are watching. The people are talking. It's bringing in the views. Blue therapy is trending all over the TL. Everyone and their mama are watching blue therapy right now. So why are you complaining? You're watching it, right? Who cares? It's entertaining. This is this show is run by black people. Let's just support the show. Let's keep on watching the show. Of course, we're gonna have a lot to complain about it, but let's just be real. We love it. Let me know what you guys think about this episode. Um, what do you guys think about Jamal and Deborah with this whole allowing talk and Deborah going into his emails and looking at his emails? Did you guys think that was problematic? What did you guys think about Paul and Chioma and all this? African dish talk. Do you guys think that Paul is just doing the absolute most and he needs to just live life and eat some African dish? Um, do you guys think that Chioma should be submitting to her man and cooking every single damn day, even though I feel like that's a bit too much? What do you guys think about this episode? What did you make about this episode? Do you guys think that Paul and Chioma could last? Do you guys think that Paul was wrong to talk about Chioma's weight gain? I mean, let me know what you guys think. But anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I shall see you on my next video. Bye.